So the Caesar is going to start here. I'm going to do his my take on this All right. with a poached egg. Ooh, so that you, sounds yummy. I like that idea. Crack an egg yep. into a yep. bowl. Great. And then I put it into simmering water, just like that. Now, I've always had trouble getting the white to stay around oh. the egg. Do you have any secrets for that? Well, there are two secrets. One is patience. Nah. The other is prayer. <laughs> and you could add a little bit of white vinegar uh -huh. to the water to help that egg white kind of solidify. That's great. But you want the water for the egg only at a simmer. And this is going to be take about three minutes to do. Mm -hmm. You notice I'm doing this without a timer. I see that. But you could use a timer to figure this out. So. Meanwhile, you are making the wafers That's for right. the salad, which is just Parmesan cheese that you're melting in a pan. Tell That's them it. How you're nothing, it. Nothing else. Just I'm going to get salad. Hot Teflon pan, absolutely nothing else in it. And uh, I am uh, letting that melt over a very, very, very low temperature. And you know, just like the egg, this is another patience issue. That's here. right. You have to wait because if you take that out too soon, it's all going to be gooey and you're not going to get right. a nice shape. And I've got it all melted and I have little bubbles. It looks lacy. Right. Okay. Do you, think? you think that's done? Not yet. Not yet. You learn this by trial okay. and error. Meanwhile, while that is being done, this is part of the composition of this Caesar salad, you want to have great lettuce. Oh, yeah. And I mean romaine lettuce mm -hmm. for this particular kind of salad because this is a salad that requires a sturdy, oh. crispy lettuce. I love it. So I use the inner leaves of the head of lettuce, of mm -hmm. the romaine lettuce. So you want to make sure that you wash and dry it, spin dry it in a spinner, and then it's all ready to go. We're going to make a dressing for that. So okay, I think you can take that out now. Right, and I'm going to let that just settle down a little bit more. Right. It's still bubbling little oil bubbles. Okay, while you're doing that, okay. let's talk about a dressing for the Caesar, because this is how this goes. I know a lot of people don't like anchovy, but I like anchovy. Do you know, I think it's one of the secret ingredients of Italian cooking. I, I agree with you. Absolutely convinced. Okay, well, good. That's why we are sisters in the kitchen. <clears throat> That's right. And so, it adds this wonderful, interesting flavor that yeah. if people don't know it's in there, they go, wow, that's tasty. Tasty. Okay, so we have a few anchovies in here and a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And we want some extra virgin olive oil. All so right. I'm going to put all that in there, just like that. Just gonna eyeball this, but you can find these recipes on the Chow Italian mm, website. We go. And now we just let that go. Beautiful. Great. I, I got one done. Okay. Can you continue to do that sure while I, I do this? Because I've got to come back All here right. and check on my egg. Now, have you been timing this? This is about two minutes. And here we are. And now I know that that egg is cooked. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And I'm going to take it out. You see? Yep. Oh, that's oh, that's perfect. And let it drain. Let uh -huh. off. Yep. Let the excess water off. I'm going to put it right here uh -huh. on a plate. Now, Good. the secret to doing this ahead of time is that you could make all of your poached eggs ahead of time. If you were doing this for a bunch of people, which is really convenient, poach the eggs, mm -hmm. take them out, put them on a plate, put them in the refrigerator. Then, when you're ready to serve, you want to reheat that poached egg by putting them uh -huh. back in the warm water. All right, so here we have our salad dressing. Perfect. And now we can take that this out. Easier. Yeah, and you know, this goes together very easily. You don't want a lot of salad dressing because this is pretty potent the way it is. Right, right, very flavorful. So I'm going to pour the dressing over the top of the salad. If you don't like anchovies, you can leave them out. Yeah, just maybe even boost up a little bit of lemon juice to give right. it some zing. A little lemon juice, and if you want a little bit of vinegar, you can put just a drop of white vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. And then I like a good grinding oh, yeah. of pepper. So a good grinding of pepper. So now we have the salad greens. Okay. We made the dressing. See how fast this is? This is fast. Made the dressing. Okay. And now we toss this. You just want to lightly coat mm -hmm. these leaves because we want all these flavors to come through. So you take some of the greens, you mound them right in the center. If you want to put a few, you know, whole anchovies on with this later Ooh, yeah, on. That's for the brave. You can do that, yes. All right, so there's a nice healthy serving. Okay. Now you want to take like? one egg right in the center. Right in the center. All right. One this egg. Is a beautiful one right, right there. Right in the center. Right there. Gorgeous. Okay. And then you take a Parmesan cheese wedge and you give that, what did I do with my pepper? A little bit oh, of yeah. pepper. Beautiful. Over the top. 
and you have Caesar salad mm. a la Mariana. Mm. 